Hey guys, Austin Pratt with Proper Spray Equipment here. Today we're gonna to be doing a head replacement on the AR45. You are going to need a couple tools here. We'll start with the part, which is this head. That number is 3120020. They're about 30 bucks. You're gonna need a ratchet, whether it's electric or uh, manual. You need a half inch socket, a pair of pliers, and then a torque wrench. This is the most important part. Most important thing here is you're going to make sure the pressure's out of the line. As you can see, we have zero PSI, but I'm still going to open my ball valve. That just ensures that there's no more pressure in the line and this thing isn't going to shoot off at us. Next step, we're going to take our pliers and the clip that holds this pressure gauge on. We're just going to lightly pull this off. wiggle it if you need to. Set that aside, pull our pressure gauge off. Same thing, wiggle it as we pull. Once we get the pressure gauge off, we're gonna work on getting all of these bolts out on top of the circle, and then these four on each side of the manifold. So I ended up having to loosen all the bolts on each side of the manifold um, in order to get this cap off. So the cap sits on like this, tucked into each of these check valve holders. And once you get it off, the big thing is looking at the orientation that it comes off. So mine, the numbers down here at the bottom where this part number was, was facing towards the ground. So now that we have this off, you gotta pay attention to which way the check valves are in here as well. This is the new one. This side of the manifold, the check valves point out this way. This side, they're recessed in here. So now we're just gonna reinstall this back onto the unit and I'm just gonna clean up any of this remaining calcium deposits and stuff before I put this on. Once you get this head back on and some of the bolts snug down, you're gonna wanna take your torque wrench and pull up your diagram here. Or if you don't have a diagram, I have one for you. These bolts are gonna be number 43. Number 43, 90 inch pounds within 10% there. So we're gonna torque all of these bolts here and the ones on each side of the manifold to 90 inch pounds. So we're gonna turn on our torque wrench here. I already have it set at 90 inch pounds. Do this in a star pattern like a wheel. Once you have these bolts snug down to 90 inch pounds, do the ones on each side of the manifold, throw your pressure gauge back in, and this thing's ready to rip. 